G'day all. Here I have my engine DIY shop Retro SE02 steam engine plant and also my Ocmo P71 mini water pump. I've got the the uh, Retro SE02 hooked up to this DIY steam condenser here and I'll give you a look at the a close up of the P 71 water pump. There it is there. I've put it on this wooden plinth and uh, just move this bottle and you'll see this water feature that I've made where the water gets pumped along up here this brass PMR piping and down these copper uh, waterfall, waterfall flow type thing into the catchment area here where it just gets reticulated back and forth. That's all silver soldered which was a, a pretty big job, silver soldering, silver soldering all that together. But uh, I think I did a fairly good job. It looks really good on the, the plinth and the plinth's been routed. But uh, here's a, a look at the SE02. It's a really nice, really nice steam plant. But um, let's get it hooked up, which it is, I think that, belt just it's in focus now I think that belt's perfectly in line but we'll put some metho in the container in the burner and uh, we'll get it going it's a really interesting burner this one I really like it metho burner methylated spirits or a spirits burner depending on where you live in the world but here in Australia, we call methylated spirits metho because Australians are very good at shortening everything down. And it's got stainless steel wicks, which are great. They never run out, never burn away. They're just permanent. And we will put some water. Take the... Nice and tight from last time really tight there we go let's get up put the water in turn the water on see it, see it filling up there You don't want to overfill these. I think that's about it now. So turn the water off. Put the. I love that water tank. It's so handy. All right. Put the safety valve back in. These two wicks, they're burning nicely. All right, I'll come back when that boiler's coming up the steam. I'll put some steam oil in the steam chest. That's 600 weight steam oil that I got from a friend in Western Australia. Okay, so that's in there. Still a bit slow, still coming up to the ball. The flame's in there and uh, come back in a little while. Okay, it's up to boil. The safety valve is blowing. Just Turn that steam line on, that is red hot. Alright, let's reconnect the that and let's see. It's got a steam block in there.
There we go, nearly ready. Okay. So the pump's turning. Let's put some water in here. And let's see if that pump works well. Uh, it's in the top one. Just filling up the first one, the top one. Starting to overflow to the second one. Oh, that was lucky. Didn't know. Perfect. Here comes the second one. Yeah, just starting to go into the third one. Oh, just going into the, the main reticulation bolt. Really, really happy how that works. What a beautiful little pump that P71 is from Ocmo. That's working an absolute treat, I reckon. There's the steam paint, the Retrol SEO2 from Engine DIY Shop. Such a nice looking plant. I'll turn the light on. As soon as that generator works, you can feel the, um, the engine starting to work against that generator. And just turn that back off. But engines sound, steam engines just sound really good when they're working under a load. The condensate catcher is working well. Boy, I'm happy with that water feature. As I mentioned, it's all silver soldered together. That was one of the most trickiest silver soldering jobs I've ever done. But pretty pleased the way that's turned out. What a lovely little pump that is. I think the burner's starting to run out of spirits.
Yep, that's just about out. So there we have it. An engine DIY, sorry, an engine DIY shop retro SE02 steam engine plant running an Okno P71 mini water pump in this homemade DIY water feature that I silver soldered up. But just always fun mucking around with the steam engine. And uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time. Stay safe. Bye all.